Hey everyone, you're watching Kamitsale's Tennis Forum and wow, 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 what a shock result, let's say. Novak Djokovic has been disqualified from the US Open. This may enrage a lot of you guys, but I'm just going to say my opinion and please do try hear me out. I know this is a very sensitive matter. I'm not taking anyone's side, but I didn't just want to sit on the fence with this one. So in my honest opinion, having seen the incident about 50 times, trying to see it from different angles, uh, the footage released isn't great because watching on Amazon Prime, the, he actually, they moved the camera away at the time of the incident. However, I found footage online. I've posted on my Instagram at Tamit Saleh YouTube. Check that out. Um, I do not think... Novak Djokovic deserved to be disqualified. Th there's right and wrong. I think there's certain things Novak could have done better, should have done better. I can understand or see where the disqualification has come from. However, I must make it clear that there is a, a, um, a certain amount of discretion that can be taken place. And the first thing I did was I went back and I checked uh, Bedine, Bedene, I don't know how you pronounce it, I'm sorry, but he done a very similar thing against Daniel Medvedev, I believe, just last week, a couple of weeks ago in the Cincinnati Open. And he was not disqualified. Now, look, you need to have a bit of common sense around the rule. So before we begin, I'm going to say what the US Open has released regarding the matter uh, on the Instagram about Novak Djokovic. Following his actions of intentionally hitting a ball dangerously or recklessly, um, dangerously or recklessly, or hitting a ball with negligent disregard of their consequences, he's been disqualified. Now, the first point there does not imply. He did not intentionally do it. I think no one can disagree with that. And also, can I just uh, request from you all, I know there are plenty of fans of all players which you know i encourage i want there to be different opinions but please do not um, base your opinion on this on either your love for djokovic or your hate for djokovic i'm i'm trying to base it as you know like from a neutral point of view looking in so so just try, just try be unbiased on this i know it's a it's a shock i'm sure it's it's just past midnight now in the uk and I just felt like I need to do something, like release it. And this is your platform now to leave your thoughts on it because I think this is an interesting one. It's a very, very interesting point. So, yeah, uh, with negligent disregard of the consequences, now, that part can apply to Novak. And um, it was wrong. He should not have hit the ball like that because it could hit someone. However, if you look at it, it was not a ferocious swing of the racket, anything like that. It, it seemed like someone giving a ball back to either a ball boy or, or something like that. It was not hit forcefully. And I will repeat once again, go check Bedene's uh, incident against Medvedev. He actually hit it with a lot more force and it hit a cameraman. And this is the crucial thing of this incident. And for me, this is why Djokovic should not have been disqualified because the tournament official uh, when he was having that long discussion with Novak, was caught or heard saying, uh, responded with the consequence that, that the consequences may have been different had the line judge not collapsed to the ground and stayed there for a prolonged time in clear distress. Now, for me, this is the turning point of this rule. Had the rule been just as it is, fair enough. Fair enough, you know. The tournament uh, official saying this means that it is up to um, up to that person's discretion. It is it is how the the victim, let's say, reacts to the incident. And for me, this is crucial because when I saw the footage, and I've seen it plenty of times, m double digits, I felt like. And look, I'm very happy to hear, and I'm only saying this now. Um, but the first thing was to see if the lines woman was okay, which she is, she's fine. Um, so it's it's not any sort of critical danger or, or, or anything like she, she's okay. Her reaction seemed 
very dramatic and I'm not taking anything away. It may have hurt. I, I understand that. I'm trying to be as careful as possible. However, my opinion was it was over exaggerated when you and when, when it's, you know, when they're saying that it could be different. So had the line judge it, say it hit them on the face and then they oh you know, it hurt, brushed it off. Yeah, we're cool. Thumbs up, smiley. Don't worry about it. Djokovic wouldn't be disqualified. And that is what happened to Bedene because when he hit the cameraman, um, the cameraman just shook it off. And by the way, that ball was a lot more ferociously struck than Novak. Novak's one, which seemed like a, like, you know, as a medium paced, um, to be quite critical there. His one hit the cameraman. The cameraman brushed it off and said, like, gave, sort of gives like a thumbs up, smiled it off. It's fine. Now, had the lines person done this for Novak, he'd be fine. So the rule in play for me doesn't make sense because you can't have a blanket, black and white answer to this. A lot of tennis journalists, a lot of um, media people, I'm reading Twitter and it's just blowing up. They're coming out and saying that, you know, it's a black and white rule. You done it. You knew, you knew the consequences etc uh, etc et now whilst I agree that it wasn't right for him to do it and um, before it he did hit another one a lot harder against a wall um, it's not as black and white as they are making it sound I, I just don't see it because Bedene wasn't um, Bedene wasn't disqualified and you know it was because lines lines person or the cameraman didn't react in this way and i am sorry but i have seen plenty of times where ball kids have been struck very hard and it's not the i'm not using this as an excuse for novak in the sense that you know it's it's right what he did because those ball kids were probably hurt during play so you know while the ball was active and things like that however i have seen times where the balls bounce twice and players trying to get it hits the ball quick but whatever regardless many times a ball kid has been hit a full power forehand and they've brushed it off they've laughed it off these are little children uh i'm saying and and they're not like you know they're laughing it off they're brushing it off and this lines person it's not even hit her that hard i'm sorry and i know this may enrage a lot of people i'm suffered to face the consequences because this is what i honestly believe in is she milked it because a reaction like that i just don't see i've seen so many people get hit i've been hit playing tennis you know coming to the net and your opponent just goes for a uh, like a powerful smash no control it hits you on the head hits you on the body it's fine it hurts for like a second and and then you're okay but for her and if you look at the video i've posted on my instagram i'm not posting on youtube because of copyright reasons things like that she seems to clutch her face initially now i'm hearing that it may have hit her throat i agree um, that does hurt however she she got back up and it was quite clear at that point that it wasn't any long-lasting incident right and I, I, don't, I don't know please i just want you guys to let me know what you think on 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 the matter the official rule states a player shall not at any time physically abuse any official opponent spectator or any other person uh, within the precincts of the uh, tournament site which includes the cameraman that Badene hit but didn't get disqualified. Um, so yeah, it is open to discretion. And I feel like they were very harsh to Novak. Now, some of the things that Novak has come out and said, you know, this is my career and things like that. I don't think he was trying to use his, uh, let's say, uh, you know, name to get the decision. He was just trying to show this is what you're costing me. You know, um, what he did after, I don't agree with. He should have still come out and did the press interview, um, apologised for, for the action. And then, you know, may have had a few things to say. He's left the stadium, got in his car, went away. He's going to get fined for that. He's obviously lost all his ranking points. Now, the the funny or weird thing is, is that with the new ATP system, his old points would remain. Now, is that going to remain? We're going to find out. I believe it, it should still remain. I don't see why they would bend the rules here because his last year's result counts which is just the fourth round so he didn't um, lose or gain anything and he becomes the fifth man in a grand slam singles match to be disqualified and the first in actually 20 years the last time this happened was in the year 2000 at the french open but yeah the, the main thing here is novak djokovic on 26 and 0 for the season 
hot, hot favourite for the US Open is out. And what it means now is we are guaranteed to have a first time Grand Slam winner. Now, for me, I did not want it to happen like this. There, there was no Roger and Rafa to begin with and now Novak to get disqualified for something I feel is contentious. Like the, the shot he made earlier, the, power, the one he hit at the wall, had that hit a line judge, I understand. But the one that he got disqualified for, bearing in mind the other one he didn't even get a warning. The one he got disqualified for, it was a medium to slow paced shot. It wasn't, it wasn't anything like that. So it just baffles me. I'm not going to get into the conspiracies of it's because he's Serbian and things like that. Or he's an anti-vaccine person or things like that. I, I, I don't care, honestly. But looking at this incident, in my honest opinion... It was very, very harsh to completely disqualify him. I think he even said you could have given him a game, uh, you know, like a game penalty or a set penalty and things like that. But kick him out of the tournament. Wow, that is, yeah, it's it, it wasn't a powerful shot. There was no intention there. And I agree that the rules say that, you know, he, a player should be, um, disqualified but it's not as black and white as the media and all these people are making it sound there is discretion and for me that's the key thing in all of this because then Bedene should have been booted off and the tournament of officials saying that it could have been different the consequences had the line judge not reacted so, so for instance if the line judge got hit and said yeah you know it's fine Djokovic wouldn't be in this situation so then your rules need to be looked at and I feel like yeah, that needs to be looked at. I know things are raw right now, which is why I understand Novak leaving the tournament uh, without doing a press interview and just not wanting to maybe say the wrong things at that time. And it doesn't help the fact that he's opening up this PTPA with uh, Vasek Pospisil and now he's getting defaulted and things like that. But um, but yeah, Novak Djokovic is out. We are going to have a new US Open winner. My, my prediction for the first time actually on YouTube has been wrong because I predicted Novak. Uh, but now, I mean, Zverev must be loving it. I can't see, you know, him... Uh, yeah, I see him reaching the final now. On the other side, I think the two obvious names are Medvedev and team. And watching matches uh, of both players, actually, I believe Medvedev looking the stronger. So, yeah, Medvedev could win his first US Open after his loss to Rafa last season. But the main thing here, Djokovic disqualified. Was it right? Was it wrong? Is it as black and white as... It's being made out to be. Did the line judge overreact? Um, I want to know your thoughts. I want to know what you're thinking. I'll try and you know have as many conversations as possible. It's quite hard sometimes, but but yeah, Djokovic is out. See you in the next video.